Hey guys, welcome to Quick Fix Guitar. My name is Aaron. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. Appreciate the support. However, if you are new here, let me tell you all about what I do here at Quick Fix Guitar. So here on the channel, I upload three guitar lessons per week on songs from a variety of genres, but with the main focus around hard rock, rock, punk, and metal. And then the following day, I release a cover of the song so you can see all the parts played in its entirety. And I also do review the odd piece of gear from time to time, guitars, pedals, amps, you name it. I'm into it and I love talking about it. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. Feel free to give the video a like as well, that really helps out with the channel. With that being said, let's jump into the lesson. All right, lesson time, Down the Drain by Jared James Nichols. If you haven't heard of this guy, look him up. He's seriously talented. He's one of those new modern guitarists. Well, I say new, he's been around for a few years, but he's relatively new. He's just released a self-titled album, Jared James Nichols. And it's full of hard rock blues tracks that are absolutely fantastic. And this one in particular is really catchy and really simple. So I quickly learned it and I thought I'd do a lesson on it and put it out there on YouTube for everyone else so they can follow along. So before we jump into the lesson, there's a few things to note. Joe James Nickel is noted for playing with his fingers, his thumb and his fingers pretty much exclusively. So if you look him up live, that's pretty much all he does. And that's a large part of his tone. He has this really thumpy, low tone which is really, really cool for the style of music he plays. So for this lesson, I was going to play it with my fingers, but I'm much better with a pick, So, and most people play with a pick, so I think I'll just stick to that for, for the remainder of the lesson. But just know, if you want to get exactly too close to his tone, you use your fingers and thumb. Uh, for this lesson, we are in drop D tuning, so if you think about it, everything's in standard. A, D, G, B, E strings, like normal, but the low E goes down one full step to a D, so we can do these bar chords. Um, lots of great songs in drop D, and this is just another one of those. Um, so for this lesson, we are on the bridge pickup, as I said, in drop D, and the lesson starts on a lower volume. So I have my Les Paul down on about four, tone fully the way up, and we start with these octaves. So this is the intro riff, and it's also the verse riff that goes throughout the song. So we're just hitting down on the 12th fret of the low D, because it's down a full step, and we're just playing this octave and we're bouncing from that to the open D string. Do that a few times, then it just slides down to the 10th fret, exact same pattern. 9th fret. 8th fret. So 12th. 10th, 9th, 8th. So he would play that with his thumb and finger. And just alternate like that. Really, really cool riff, especially at that low volume. It's really dissonant. It sounds really, really cool. So that is the intro and the verse riff. And then there's this other little part that goes over the top. And it comes in and out throughout the song, but it's kind of hard to hear because there's lots of layers of guitars and effects. But this other part, so after we've played this, this little riff here. We come down here to the D, uh, sorry, the G and the B string. So we've got our index finger on the seventh fret of the G string and our pinky finger on What's that? The tenth fret of the B string, and we play those together. Then we just slide that up two frets to index finger on the fifth, pinky finger on the eighth. Hit it again. Then all we do is lift our, uh, it's a bit of a stretch, our index finger up to the fourth fret, and we play them again. Then we slide that up to index finger on third fret of the G, pinky finger on the fifth fret of the B, we hit that, and then we slide our pinky back to the sixth fret. So I'll play that uh, passage again slowly. So it's quite low in the mix, and as I said, it comes in and out at different points. But if, that's, if you want to play along with that part, that's how that bit's played. And then it goes back to this verse intro riff. And 
and then the effect that's on it, some kind of Leslie speaker or something like that, starts to really, really pick up and it all melts together. And then he finishes on that, what's that, the uh, 10th fret there. And then he brings the volume, in, uh, volume up. And then we are into the chorus riff. So this is a, a C power chord slid into a D and back to a C. So index finger, third fret, A string, pinky finger on the fifth fret of the D string. And we hit that. So slide from the C to the D, then back to, back to the C. And then we reach up and we bar across on the fifth fret, the D, the low D and the A string. So. So I'm pretty sure this is the only time it happens in the song is when he first comes to the chorus. He just hangs on that one there. And lets it ring out. It's the only time it happens. And he gives the chord a bit of a wiggle. Gives it some vibrato. So we're hitting that C power chord, sliding to the D. Hit that a few more times. And then we repeat. And from this point on, this is how he plays the chorus riff. So we come up from that C and we hit this fifth fret. Open. So the low D and the A open. Then the same bar chord on the third fret. Open. Back to the fifth. Open. Third. like that. So sliding from the C to the D, back to the C, we bar the fifth, open, bar the third, open, bar the fifth, open, bar the third. Okay? So he plays that through a few times for the chorus, and then he finally hits one big D power chord. Rolls the volume back down to four, and we're back into that verse slash intro riff. Does that a few times, and then instead of going back to this bit here, he just goes back to that 12th, and he stays on that for a few bars, so. Comes back. Rolls the volume back in, and we're back into the chorus riff. A big part of his sound, as I mentioned with his fingers, is the vibrato he puts on his chords, which is really cool to hear because a lot of people just play them. Just play them straight, which is great. It's a really good riff. But when he puts that, puts a lot, a lot of uh, groove and feel into the song. But that is the main parts of the song. So we've got the intro slash chorus riff. We've got this um, this little intricate... little intricate bit there that happens during the intro. Then we've got the big chorus riff. And he also does some wah-wah soloing. If you just want to sit in the D minor pentatonic and do whatever you want, if you've got a wah-wah pedal, you can solo over the top of it. But they are all the parts that you need to play Down the Drain by Jared James Nichols. And there you have it, my friends. That's how you play Down the Drain by Jared James Nichols. If you haven't listened to much of his music, give his most recent album a listen. It's absolutely fantastic. He's incredibly underrated as a guitar player and he's one of the great modern blues guitar players in my opinion. So if you did enjoy the lesson, please consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single upload. As I mentioned, I upload three guitar lessons per week. Feel free to give the video a like, that really helps out with the channel. Pushes the video out to more people. Feel free to comment below as well if you'd like to see some more Joe James Nichols lessons on the channel. I'd be more than happy to do some more. Check out the playlists that are popping up all around here. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Catch ya.